Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss the test setup, taking measurements, and finalizing the test for the Megger I2P battery impedance test equipment. Let's get started. The Megger by 2 p is a battery impedance test set used for internal AC impedance measurements, recording DC terminal voltage values, and measuring the interconnection resistance for the straps in a battery string. Here you can see the Megger by 2 p transmitter module, receiver, potential probe, amp clamp, and the red and black current injection clamps. Here we see the potential probe, receiver unit, and amp clamp. These three devices are used together for taking measurements across the battery string. As you can see, the potential probe and amp clamp are connected at the bottom of the receiver unit. Now that we have set up the instrument for testing, let's take a look at how to connect the leads to the battery string. First, let's talk about the red and black current injection clamps. The red injection clamp will replace at the first positive battery post in the string as shown here at cell number one. Then, the black injection clamp is connected to the last negative battery post of the battery string as seen on cell number six. Following this, you will need to connect the amp clamp around one of the inner cell battery straps of the string. In this case, you will be connecting it around the strap between cells three and four. The amp clamp will remain in place for the duration of the test procedure. Now that we have connected the current injection clamps and the amp clamp, we will talk about how to apply the receiver pistol and potential probe to take measurements across the battery string. The pair of pistol grips are used to take three types of measurements, battery impedance, cell voltage measurements, and inner cell strap resistance. After you have connected the current injection clamps to each end of the battery string and attached the amp clamp to an inner cell battery strap, you will move the main power switch to the on position. Next you will need to press the green current on button to apply current to the battery bank. The yellow current ready light will illuminate when the string is ready to begin testing. To begin using the Mega Byte 2P, press the green power on button. Use the scroll button to select yes or no for the test setup options, pressing up for yes and down for no. The options include one selection, entering a test baseline, number of inner cell battery straps, and terminal impedance. This will allow you to tailor the instrument to the specific set of batteries you are testing. Any test options you choose will be saved by selecting the enter button. Once you've made your selections, press the up arrow to save your settings and begin testing. Now that you have entered all of your test parameters and saved them to the receiver, you will see a prompt for ripple current. Pull the trigger to save the ripple current reading. The following screen will say connect and power transmitter. This is a prompt for the current injection clamps you have already connected to your battery string. Verify that the current reading on the receiver matches the current output on the transmitter current meter. Once you verify this, pull the trigger to advance the test. The next screen you will see on the receiver display is for the measurements of the first battery cell of the string as indicated by the 001 in the top left hand corner. You will apply the receiver pistol to the positive post and the potential probe to the negative post of cell number 1 as shown. Push down on the probes and when the voltage and impedance values are displayed, pull the trigger on the receiver unit. After the voltage and impedance measurements are recorded, the receiver will display a screen for the strap resistance measurement. The 001 identifies the strap as the first one in the string, while the identifier strap in the lower middle section of the display lets the user know they are measuring the strap resistance. Just as for the voltage and impedance measurements, to record the inner cell resistance measurements, you will apply the pistol grips in the same manner. However, the receiver pistol will be applied to the positive post of the following battery of the battery string. In this case, the potential probe is applied to the negative post of battery number one, and the receiver pistol is applied to the positive post of cell number two to measure the strap between those two cells. When the strap resistance reading is displayed, pull the trigger on the receiver to save the value. 
After you have recorded the last measurements for the battery string, you must finalize the test. To do this, short the tips of the receiver pistol and potential probe together and pull the trigger. This value is recorded in place of the non-existent strap for the last cell. If you do not perform this step, the test values of your last cell will not be recorded. Following this, press the down arrow on the receiver to complete the test. The receiver will then prompt a confirmation that the test is complete. Press the up arrow to confirm yes. The following screen will again ask you to confirm that the test is complete. Again, press the up arrow and confirm that the test is complete and finalize your readings. This concludes our discussion of the test setup, taking measurements, and finalizing the test for the Megger Byte 2P battery impedance test equipment. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos, including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.